Today we're here in Kaunas, 400 kilometers away from Ukraine, where the war is happening at this moment. And we as Lithuanians do know what happens when the Russians take over. It's the same fight the Ukrainians are fighting for their freedom at this very moment. Since we gained our independence, since we entered the EU, the NATO, it's been changing so much, so rapidly. And now it's the European capital of culture. I love it and I invite you to come over and see for yourself. And I forgot to bring my helmet. Let's go. Konas is usually called the small Paris. See for yourself why. And today we're riding on e-bikes with my buddy rider Solus. Solus, he is already on his way. We'll be going for a ride in our local forests and a bit of downtown. Usually the main street isn't that busy, but since we've got a fair going on, let's see what we have. And there he is. <laughs> and we're starting in the longest pedestrian walk in Europe, Lais Vesalea. If you're a fan of Art Deco, do come. And if you guys ride e-bikes, do bring them. There's lots of trails, parks, avenues to ride them. It will be so much easier, so much more fun this summer. And I do invite you to come. And here we are at Kona's Fortress. If you're interested in war history, that's the place to visit. Lithuania was occupied both by the Nazis and then by the Soviets for almost 50 years after the World War II. We share the harsh history of being occupied by the Russians. So when the Russians left Lithuania, they also left some military equipment here. But Lithuania gained its independence in peaceful ways. Here we see the Ukrainian tractors, apex predators for the tanks from Russia. We've got several monuments in Konas, like the 9th Fort and this place, 6th Fort. That's not all that Konas has to offer. You can find lots of undiscovered gems riding your e-bike here. You took a cold bar or here. Like this abandoned bar. Plenty of forests, oh, yes. parks yes. inside the city. And this is Gunpowder Warehouse. Now it's a great party place. If there are any e-bike riders who would like to visit Lithuania Kaunas, come and visit us. The day is over. But before we say goodbye, let's go to our office, to the shop. I'll show you around. We're about you guys, the e-riders, the mountain bike freaks, the shredders, the Travis Pastranas, the Red Bull athlete, and the regular everyday normal model. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Right now is the best and the worst time to visit Konas with a war happening in Ukraine. And we support the Ukrainians wholeheartedly, but I do encourage it anyways. You'll be surprised. Here's my wife and my baby boy. Hello. How is it given to Right anywhere, anytime. That's what we do here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Downtown shop, corner shop, concept e-bike store. Uh, come visit us, say hi. Uh, we're always welcoming any guests. If by any chance you're riding an EMTB uh, with a trip to Lithuania, come say hi. I'll show you around. Cheers, guys, and see you in the next episode.